Now let's talk about uh, this, this nature of being uh, conjugated and uh, what kind of stabilization this, this resonance imparts and how can we get some evidence for that. Let's take a look at three different types of dienes. One example, uh, each of these has five carbons, so these are all pentadiene examples. Here the two double bonds are right on top of each other. We call this a cumulated pi uh, diene where the p orbitals are perpendicular, the ones on this car on, on for this pi bond are perpendicular to the ones for the second pi bond. Here we have pure we have pi bonds that are unrelated, they're isolated. We have um, the p orbitals on these two carbons have no relationship at all to the p orbitals on the other two carbons. And then finally we have the conjugated system where we're saying we can have some interaction here and um, and some delocalization because of resonance. We can take a look at the heats of hydrogenation for each of these dienes to see if we can um, if we can observe some differences in their energies. When you catalytic hydrogenate each of these, they give the same product. They give pentane. All those have the same energy. So when we measure the delta H, that gives us a relationship that tells us something about the initial energy of our starting materials. The let's take a look at the isolated pi bonds initially. The energy release there is minus 60.7 kcals per mole. That's essentially the heat of hydrogenation for an alkene times two. So because these double bonds are separate from each other and have no interaction, you simply get twice as much energy out as uh, if you had just one pi bond. However, when you force those two pi bonds to be accumulated to one another, we actually get out more energy from the redu reduction of this diene, meaning it started out higher energy. This is an unstable arrangement of, of double bonds. And when you uh, allow them to be conjugated with one another, you have uh, less energy being released, which means your diene must have started out a lower energy. So again, if we do a quick little energy diagram, Comparing these three, they're all going to the same product, the pentane product, but A must be starting at a higher energy than B, and C must be starting at a lower energy than B. C is the most stable diene because it has the smallest amount of energy to release upon hydrogenation. Okay, And it's because of this resonance, we call this resonance energy, the uh, energy that, that we get from that stabilization. And, and one thing I forgot to point out, on the past slide, another um, some physical evidence for this <clears throat> resonance interaction is that this sigma bond, this is shorter than a normal single bond. Okay, because you have these p orbitals on each carbon that are drawing them close together because of that overlap. So it, it uh, gives us some, some hint that those electrons are being de delocalized all over all four carbon atoms.